What's up, guys? It's Sons of Survivalist, and today um, we got something kind of new for you guys. Um, so this is a haul from Temu. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on some of the items that I ordered. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I try not to like rip open my packages because sometimes if you depending on where you buy stuff from if you return things they kind of want it back in like their packaging and it kind of like you know makes things easier if the box or bag isn't completely destroyed now depending on what it is if it's something that i know i'm going to keep from a certain company the box doesn't stand a chance yeah go ahead give me a nice line to work with Four layers of Temu tape. Here we go. Alrighty. Package is open. Close our knife for safety. Put that to the side. And let's get moving. All right. First things first. I'm going to take out the items that I ordered. And I'm going to lay them on the table. Uh, here are some tourniquets. It's one. Two. Here's a first aid kit I ordered. And there's another tourniquet. Um, so, first impression before I continue. Uh, one thing I always like about products, when, depending on where I order them from, is that they're individually packaged. Um, that's just something for me because sometimes I like to leave them in the packaging, depending on what I'm about to do with them. Uh, the first aid kit, I'm probably not gonna, definitely not going to leave in the packaging. But depending on... You know, stuff like this, like tourniquets, small stuff. Sometimes I like to leave them in the packaging until I'm actually about to use them or until I'm about to put them in, like for these, these are going in a med kit bag um, or a, what I like to call my active shooter response bag. Um, anytime I'm ordering things like these, it's usually going to be for situational purposes, um, whether I'm at a... Really, it's not even for like defined situations. It's really just if I need it, I'm the type of person I'd rather have it and not use it than need it and not have it, right? So um, let's go ahead and first, you know, we're gonna put these aside and we're gonna get into this uh, medic bag, the first aid kit. Alrighty, before I even opened it, I already like the fact that it came with the Velcro Red Cross on it, the first aid kit bag. Um, hmm. Comes with this kind of cool little uh, carrying handle. It's a little weird how it's on there. I get, I guess, in case you wanted to put like more stuff on the front, you could, and like it's secured down like that. I guess if let's just say you wanted to put more tourniquets. On, on the front, you know, I guess, but uh, kind of weird, but find a use for it. Um, first impression, uh, it is Molly compatible, so it does have the straps and the hooks for you to weave it through any Molly system. Uh, you can put it on book pack, book bags, backpacks, rucksacks, um, plate carriers, anything like that. Um, I'm definitely going to do a review of one of those in one of my next videos. Um, let's go ahead and pop this open. It's a nice little Velcro latch. Just keep everything together and up. And here we go. Oop. Okay. So, um, first things first, as soon as you can the bag, you get another tourniquet. Um, I'm going to have to open that and stage that. I'll, uh, Talk a little bit more about that afterwards. Um, let's see what this is. It's a trauma dressing, vacuum sealed trauma dressing. This is ah, so this material is so you can splint uh, 
extremities, uh, arms, legs, wrists, stuff like that. Uh, you un unroll it, cut it to whatever length you need, and then you'd use uh, any other like bandaging and stuff like that to uh, wrap up whatever limb you need. I'm gonna leave it in the package just like that. I'm not gonna open it just cause it, uh, it's gonna keep it tight and easier to put away. It is really stiff. You know, stiffer than I thought it would be. I think there's probably like a some type of malleable like metal plate or in here, like soft metal plate or hard plastic in there that's really uh really easy to move, but also keeps it super stiff. Um, it does come with a couple med shears. Those are pretty sharp. Yeah. Those are nice those are pretty sharp they don't feel super cheap this bag was probably like six dollars off of temu um i'm the type of person even though there are certain things i want i'm always going to look for deals um certain things you can kind of go the cheaper route with other things you kind of have to pay for you know pay for quality but uh stuff like this just a basic first aid kit i you can kind of cheap out on this one just a little bit uh like I said, all this stuff, and keep going, but all this stuff I got for under $10. Uh, what else we got here? We got a bunch of Q-tips, 100 Q-tips. Okay, uh, let's see, what is this? We got a CPR face shield. Uh, alcohol prep pads. How many of these is there? Go two, four, six, twelve. It's about thirty of those. It's not bad. Uh, two antiseptic towelettes. Uh, emergency rescue blanket. Okay. Uh, it says destroy after use for single use. Reduce shock. Keep patients warm, dry, and clean. Helps against hypothermia, simply wrap around, total body leaving face uncovered. That's nice. It's a nice addition. Uh, that's the first, uh, this is my second or third time buying a med kit. That's the first time I've gotten one of those in it, which is cool. Um, some triangular bandages, you can use that for slings. You can also use it for um, splints and stuff like that too. And then just some regular old bandage in there. Is there anything else? Nope. Oh, actually, yes, there is. There's another side. We got some uh, clothespins, a pair of tweezers, medical tape. And I think that, that is truly all. Alrighty, so that's everything that came in the first aid kit. Um, real quick, for those of you who don't know, uh, anything about anything medical, anything like that. I'm going to use these shears to, as like opening scissors, which is really bad. Don't do that. Uh, I'm going to quickly explain what this is, what a tourniquet is, and what it's used for, and how you use it real quick. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to open the instructions for you guys, so you guys can kind of see which diagrams, and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you guys a second, and you can pause the video. You can take a look at that. Here's the other side. All right. So, what is a tourniquet, right? So, a tourniquet is used to stop bleeding, right? So, if you're in a situation where, let's say, let's use a car accident, for example, right? If you're in a car accident, and let's say on one of your extremities, your arms or, leg, arms or legs, right, you get a huge cut, uh, gash, wound, anything like that that's bleeding very profusely, right? You'd use a tourniquet to stop the bleeding and hopefully be able to save that arm or that leg and to save yourself from bleeding out, right? Um, one thing you do have to do when you get a tourniquet is you have to stage it, right? So staging a tourniquet is really simple. Um, it came folded up like this, you know, kind of ready-ish or whatever out of the bag, but um, 
what's a good thing to do is always open it all the way. Go ahead and fit it through the loop. Right. Fasten it down like that. And then you can fold it up to whatever size if you're putting it back in here or if you're putting it in like, let's say a tourniquet pouch, anything like that. Um, using a tourniquet is super simple. And I think everyone should know how to use a tourniquet because it's one of those life-saving skills that, you know, whether you're in the armed forces or not, anything like that, uh, first responders, anything like that, you could use this to save your own life or somebody else's life just, you know, out there in the world. Like I said, car accidents, you know, really anything where you get a serious cut, bruise, or not bruise, cut, impalement, anything like that where you need to stop bleeding fast on an extremity, this is what you're going to use, right? So, best way to show you guys how to use this is, I would say, let's say... Let's say I got a cut here, close to my wrist. Um, wish I had a marker. But uh, let's say I got a cut right around here on my wrist. If I needed, if I was bleeding profusely, right? First thing I would do is I would grab my tourniquet. I'd bring it over. I'd put it, if the wound is here, I'd put it two, in, two to three inches above the wound, right? I'd tighten this down as much as possible with the Velcro strap, right? So, wound is here, two to three inches above the wound. Then, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take this windlass, and I'm gonna twist it. Yes, this is going to hurt, right? It's supposed to hurt, but the pain is going to actually save your life, right? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop the blood flow to that area so you basically stop the bleeding with, by stopping the blood flow, right? So you're gonna twist it as tight as possible. This one doesn't want to tight very much. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. You went out of the box, did not want to tighten. Cool. There we go. This one, let's get it. I'm just like tighten that one. Just for you guys. Then you're gonna wanna secure it down with the strap, right? The time you applied the tourniquet down on it, blase blase, right? You're if you put, if you're trying this out, you're you're gonna feel the blood flow kind of like slow down to your extremity, which there is kind of a danger to when you're taking off a tourniquet that I'm going to show you guys next. Um, if you need to apply a different, another tourniquet to help stop the bleeding, or if you need to just take the tourniquet off, you're kind of what, it, what you're going to want to do, right? You're going to want to undo the windlass, but you're not going to just want to unhook it and just let it go, right? That could cause you to blackout or that could cause like severe pain from the blood rushing back to the blood rushing back to that extremity jesus christ i can't talk today right so you're gonna wanna undo the one last right and you're gonna slowly loosen that tourniquet back off of your extremity then undo the Velcro, and then you can slide it off, just like that, right? Um, me personally, I think everyone should own a tourniquet, at least one. Um, you should have at least one in your house that you can get to, kind of, like I said, in an emergency. So somewhere you can get to it easily, like in a first aid kit. Um, I'm probably going to repack this first aid kit because I didn't really like how the how it came packed I'm just gonna repack it back to you know my preferences but um, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys um, that's everything I got I got all of this uh, once again from Temu for under 
uh, all together with the extra three tourniquets, I want to say I got it all together for under $20, which isn't bad for um, some really good quality tourniquets that aren't, like, even though they were kind of cheap, they're still pretty good quality. Right. Same thing with the med kit. Um, like I said, it's something for under ten dollars. Um, really cheap, but still got good quality items and a good bit of stuff right there. Right. So that's gonna end it for this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.